Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, uh, I, I guess a lot of people like, um, raw videos or just raw footage. So here's one of the first boxes to come into the mail. So we're gonna open it up and see what magic lies. Yeah. Mm. Obviously, I gotta overpack everything. My guess is the motherboard. I'm correct. Here we go. Here's the bad boy. The uh, MSI H170 uh, Gaming M3 board. Um, so it's just a. Uh, Okay, so here's one of the first things to come into the mail. Sorry about the lighting, it's just, uh, it's on my, it's on my table. Um, so this one has the, uh, H170 chipset on it. Um, it's going to be, uh, my i5-6600, uh, Skylight processor is gonna send in this bad boy. Here is the, uh, motherboard. Hold on, what's in here? So in this box we have a motherboard. I'm guessing underneath we're gonna have all the other good goodies. Here's a backplate. There's some SATA cables, some 90, some 90 degree bends here. The one straight one. We got the little badge. And we got the MSI handbook. There. There's some interesting stuff. Um, For this motherboard, we have a. Uh, yeah, thank you for choosing this MSI product. Here we have uh, some stickers. This is kind of interesting. Um, so you get to label your SATA ports out if you want. Um, I'm not going to use this. And obviously, here is the. I'm not here. Slash. I'm sorry, I'm busy gaming. It's always good. It's always fun to get those. Um, this is probably gonna go up on my wall. I'm probably not gonna use it, so. Okay, next sort of business. There's a motherboard. I like this. Actually, this is kinda unique. Cause, uh. Look at this. This is nice. Look at this padding that they put in here. Interesting. But definitely uh, keeps the pins in the back safe. I mean, Good job. So obviously it's in the nice static free bag. Okay. I also went down to Fry's electronic store. Grab some goodies. Let me uh, adjust this camera a little bit. Bang, all right. See what good stuff we have here. Um, on my last build, I had a H55 water cooler. From this build, we're going to use the uh, Thermatake C5. And uh, I went down and I got myself the uh, TP-Link uh, PCIe uh, wireless card. I use these on all my PCs. Okay, so uh, yeah, so let's open this bad boy up. are a super serious knife here. Wow. You really just take... Hold on. Sorry about that, guys. I had some stuff to take care of. Okay. Oh, I just broke the box, then. Here 
we got the instruction manual. We got all the hardware. Let's see if we can raise the camera here up a little bit. Alright, well that's the benefit of raw footage I guess, so you guys have, have to keep organizing. Cool. Wow, look at this. This is the T5. Um, this is my first time using Thermatec. I normally use the Intermax coolers. Let me see if I can find one. Really quick. Hey, what the heck did I do with my Intermax coolers? Anyways, I have the Intermax uh, black twister and stuff like that. Uh, this is very similar in design. Very aesthetically pleasing cooler. Um, definitely going to go well with the red and black theme we have for this. So now that we have the cooler, um, actually let's put this back in the box here. Hey guys, so we are back. Um, so unfortunately, my camera's batteries went out, so I had to um, charge it overnight. And uh, we got another box in the mail. So uh, I believe this is going to be. Um, I believe this is going to be the uh, processor. So let's get this big boy opened up here. Bam. And look at what we got here. And there she is. The Core i5 60, uh, i5 60 600. Uh, this is not the K edition. Um, and the H170 board does not take, uh, uh, it doesn't have the option for the um, overclocking on the case skews, so we're going to drop this one in. Um, you can already see that the uh, processor is not, it doesn't look like it's in its place. Okay, so let's cut this tape off here. Here we have the processor right there. And cross your fingers that everything works because uh, I don't want to send this back to return it. Alright, so I had to change the view on the camera a little bit here. So here we have the uh, stock CPU cooler. Here we have the processor, the new skylight. This chip in here, and there we have the stock Intel CPU cooler. But uh, we're just gonna end up putting this back into the case here. Okay, so while you guys um, were gone and I was charging the Canon battery, it's last night. This processor here.
There we go. All right, now I got the camera focused. So I ended up putting in the brackets for the after market mount. So this just comes away in a This just comes away in pieces. The one piece here. And the second piece that comes off like this. And you're left with your center core that we're just gonna place right on top. So there's that. that. Let's zoom in back here really quick. So we're going to uh, pull the pin back here. Okay. Okay, guys. So the next step is we're gonna put the processor in. So here it is. Bam. So as you can see here, there's a little triangle. It matches with the triangle that's on this corner here. There we go. We're just gonna wiggle it around a little bit. She's set. Okay, and she's in. There we go. So we just got some alcohol, we're gonna wipe it off. And we're gonna get some uh We're gonna get some Arctic Silver, then we're gonna put it on. Now we're gonna hook up the, uh, we're gonna zoom out a little bit. Okay. This is the mount that's gonna go across. First we're gonna take these. And we're gonna mount with this fin right here, facing inward. Bam, bam. Thank you. 
We're going to put this on to make sure that the holes are lined up. And then we'll fully adjust these. Then we'll tighten these down all the way. And we'll take our awesome cooler here. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more. Okay. Don't forget to do this. Take this off. Nice and high glossy. Alright guys, so we ran into a little bit of an issue here with the mounting, um, um, apparently this right here is the original mounting system. So this goes here and then this plate comes on and sits like this, but for whatever reason I guess this came to be defective right here. If I can zoom clearly right there so it when you tighten it since it's whatever the, the threads aren't good it pops out so what we did is uh, I have an Intermax cooler too the black twister so I went ahead and see if I can replace these which I did there and then I just used the Intermax's uh, crossbar now as you can see there's quite a bit of distance from here to here which is going to cause a very, very tight fit, and that's what we want. Uh, the problem that I was getting with these ones is see how narrow these screws are here? When it goes all the way down, when I read it on the reviews, um, they said this thing was still loose. So um, we basically did a combination, and it worked. So if you have an old Intermax, Black Twister, whatever, cooler, um, it's going to work perfectly fine. And um, I just need to find, and uh, just like this one, the thread is... Here on the Intermax, the thread is actually on the mount like that, so that's how we're gonna do it. Uh, so now that's done, we're gonna start uh, putting the pieces back. So these nameplates go on the top here. So right now we don't have RAM, uh, we're waiting for it to come in the mail, so we're actually going to put it inside the desktop and we're just going to wait for the RAM. And uh, once that comes in, we should be uh, set. So. This, this side. This top out. How will it about it? And uh, first things first. I'm gonna put the IO shield in.
There she sits, very nice, very nice quality. I love how MSI makes their shields. There's no sharp pins or anything. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, if you want, you can look in the back of the board. Here, let me... There we go. So if you want, we can look in the back of the motherboard. But generally, all these connections are here. They're gonna face down. And, uh, spin the box around. Nice black. It'll fit in the back here. I'm just gonna pop it in. Nice and easy. Push on all corners. Bang. Uh, this is actually my second MSI board. Uh, the first one was for the A10 build that I did. Um, otherwise, I always used to use Asus boards before this. Okay. Let's get the motherboard. All right, so now that we got all the screws put in, um, let's see. Start plugging in the power cords. So here's one that I routed. It's a 20 and 4 pin. card right here. That's what the card looks like right here. So I'm gonna slide this straight in. So there's our uh, card there in the back. So there's two antennas that this comes with. There we go. Now the Wi-Fi is in. Perfect. 
Alright guys, so I was working on the, um, my battery's about to die again, well, um, wiring, and, uh, I've never actually did this on a seal of the wires, I guess it'd look good with zip ties, but, uh, these single ones right here, I think, um, I have this tubing right here, um, that I got from Harbor Freights. Uh, I used it in when I did the sub install in my car. I also have a video on that. Um, so it just breaks apart and I thought it would look kind of cool if I, uh, did the wires in here. So I'm just going to do a tiny experiment, so, uh, yeah, it'll be a quick second, but I'm going to put all the wires inside of here. So this is what a front looks like. Um, it's not terribly bad. There's my SSD that I put in there. Um, there's how the wiring looks with um, the thing now, so it's not as bad. Um, I have to figure out <laughs> where to put the speaker wire or the speaker thing. Um, as you can see, there's no RAM slots. I mean, there's no RAM right now. Um, so this is this is wire right here. Um, is the only wire that we have to switch out. So we're gonna have to get an extension so we can route it through the back. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, in a couple days, we're gonna get the RAM and then we're gonna start it up and see how it looks. So yeah, she's really coming together. All right, guys. So now we're back. My RAM came in early and actually my screen was on a uh, one week back order and they surprised me well first they sent me an email saying hey your order's been back uh, your order's been delayed for a week and then two hours later they sent me another email saying hey uh, by the way you can come and pick up your screen so we got a 27 inch uh, screen I'm just trying to open my uh, HyperX uh, RAM here, uh, 2133 DDR4, of course. Um, if I can get this thing open. Okay, there it is. Both RAM. Right there, it's the uh, HyperX Savage, black of course. Um, so we're gonna have two RAM sticks here. All right. So since we're gonna do uh, instead of we're gonna do a dual kit, if you're gonna do a single, I believe it's the very left lane. If you're gonna do a dual kit, it's two and four. Then if you're gonna do all four, then you just fill all four in. So let's open all these brackets up, like so, and hopefully toss a really good random. Okay guys, I got everything plugged in, um, I haven't done the first startup yet, so uh, for my peripherals, I got a, uh, actually let me just bring it up here, <coughs> got a Razer Ouroboros mouse. And I got a uh, Black Widow Chroma Ultimate keyboard. So, yeah. Let's uh, turn it on and see what happens. Whew, moment of truth.
All right, please enter setup configure and press F1. Oh. <laughs> All right. Look at that, huh? Look at that. Huh? She's running just fine, just fine. Okay, let's see here.